good morning folks i'm here at work getting ready to go in and you know i've been hearing a lot about the, the power stations being being hacked and attacked and, and things going down i'm gonna tell you something the problem we have today is most of our electrical grid is from the 1940s and 50s and though I, I kudos to the linemen who work constantly, they work in very poor conditions, um, and they go out when I'm sure they would rather be sitting at home with their family. They go out in these weather conditions and, and repair this equipment. But I want to show you something that I just happened to notice this morning, which is why I'm making this video. Do you see that? Do you see that? That right there is a capacitor uh, on top of the, 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 the pole, which is, this is the electric pole. And can you see that this electric pole is not straight? Can you see that it's not straight? Okay. So, that is the electrical line here going into where i work at right so you got to wonder how long how how long has this been been there and it hasn't been uh uh replaced because you know this this building's been here for a while I mean, I, I think that they, they said that this building was built in, like, uh, I, I want to say 1960. So, it, it's been upgraded a little bit, but, I mean, obviously, because you could tell by the siding that, you know, the building has been has had some upgrades done to it. However, that right there... Is the electric line. So it's stuff like this. Right there. That we're dealing with. All over the country. And. and this. This. Uh, this needs to be addressed. I mean. This is why. Part of the reason why. Uh, we are losing electricity in, in small storms that we shouldn't be losing electricity in. It's because of weak points like this in the grid. Uh, so, if you're a business owner, why don't you go out there and take a look and see if uh, maybe you need to contact the electric company and have them come out and put in a uh, new pole and, and new lines because an upgrade and and uh if you're a homeowner you should be doing the same thing you should be looking at okay uh how old is the transformer that's you know that my electrical lines are, are coming from i mean uh do i have a backup to this you know um if you're living in an apartment building, you definitely want to go out there and take a look at it because if the electric goes out, I mean, you're talking, uh, some apartment buildings have hundreds of apartments in them, right? Especially in New York City, you you paying out the butt, you know, $1,500 a month for a little teeny little one bedroom studio, okay? Uh so you definitely want to take walk out there and take a look at it and maybe bring that to attention of the landlord so that the landlord can contact the electric company and see if maybe, you know, when they get a chance, they can come out and upgrade all, all the lines and stuff, right? Now, um, not saying that this is, a, uh, this is all going to happen at once, but maybe this is something uh, locally as a country that we could do is to help out uh, the electric companies because i'm telling you right now the our power grids are so ancient that some of the the major 
factories are dealing with, they're still running off ceramic capacitors. Like is what is on top of this pole right here. It's a ceramic capacitor. And that's a big, huge capacitor about like this that sits on top of that pole up there. And, and that helps uh, somehow or another. Maybe electric lineman can tell you, but it, my understanding, it, it, it helps like ground the system or something. I don't know for sure because, uh, you know, hey, I'm a truck driver. I don't know everything, right? Uh, but I think that some of us who are awake need to uh, start taking a look around us and realize that our, our, our government officials have been taking money out of our pockets in the form of taxes and putting it in their pockets instead of uh, using it to upgrade things, whereas they are requiring businesses to run by all these EPA standards and everything else, but they're not, you know, uh, they're not doing their job. And I think we need to hold them accountable to do their job. And uh, I, that's my opinion this morning. And uh, uh, I, I just thought I'd point that out because I saw that this morning. I was like, huh, yeah, that's interesting. You know, so just little interesting things that you could be aware of that you could look at and you could see that, oh, uh, yeah, uh, we might want to. We might want to address that, right? So that's all I got for you this morning. Bicycle.